Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Hello and welcome to Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists with me, Diana O'Carroll. This week, what can dogs see on TV? Hi, I'm Tom from Wales and I'd like to know why dogs can't watch old-style CRT TVs and can they watch newer TVs like plasmas or LCDs? None of my dogs have ever watched an old-style TV, but they do get very confused when they hear barking coming from it. I'm David Williams, and I'm the ophthalmologist, the the eye vet, as it were, at uh, Cambridge Vet School. When we look at a, a picture on TV or a film in a cinema, it seems that we're seeing a complete flowing image. But actually what we're looking at is lots of individual frames. They seem to flow together because our eyes don't notice the change from one image to the next. Old-fashioned TVs and films produced images at about 24 frames every second. And that's fine for people because we have what we call a flicker fusion frequency, how quick the image needs to change for us, of about 16 to 20 times a second. But when we looked at dogs, we looked at them behaviourally, it's shown that their flicker fusion frequency is a lot higher than ours, maybe 40 to 80 frames a second. That means that when a dog's looking at an old-fashioned TV or a movie, it would seem to be flickering a lot. If you look at modern plasma screens and digital TVs, they renew their images a lot faster, maybe up to a thousand times a second. So theoretically, our pets should be able to see things a lot better on more modern TVs. But that's just a theory. Science needs the evidence, doesn't it? What's the evidence? If you type in dog watching TV onto YouTube online, you'll find me 4,000 results. And most of them will convince you that actually most dogs certainly react to animals easily on a, a TV screen, sometimes quite dramatically. But of course there, the trouble is we don't know what sort of TV is being used, do we? And how much there are other confounding variables, we'll say. Things like sound that the animal might be reacting to rather than just the pictures. So it's not much of a really good controlled experiment. But just watching the reaction of the dogs on those video clips on YouTube shows, to my mind, convincingly, that dogs are reacting to what's seen on TV even if we can't be quite sure what they're seeing. I know what I'd like to say. If you've got a dog or a cat that loves watching TV and that lives fairly near Cambridge, would you contact me, David Williams, at Cambridge Vet School, so we can do a bit more research to look further into this in a bit more controlled way? It seems likely that dogs can watch new, high-refresh-rate televisions and probable that old CRT TVs would simply have appeared too flickery for them to make out a moving image. And on the forum, JP said that their dog would certainly react to seeing and hearing another on a CRT screen. So much so that she'd try to run round the back of a TV to find the other dog. But from one sensory perception to all of them, and why are we wired the wrong way around? Hi, my name is Perm from Austin, Texas in the US. My question is, why is it that our left brain controls the right side of our body and the right brain controls the left side of the body? What is the advantage? Is this common to most animals as well? Thank you. I love your show. Please keep up the good work. Bye. Why is the left brain in control of the right side of the body? And why is no part of my brain wired up to any part of my body in any kind of useful way? Let us know the answer by emailing chris at thenakedscientists.com or by writing on the forum. And you can find that at thenakedscientists.com forward slash forum. Question of the Week is part of the Naked Scientists podcast and supported by the EPSRC, the Wellcome Trust and UK Fast. Look us up online at nakedscientists.com.